um, Gaming Finations and One Premier also knows like, wow, but we're here for Leo's fortune. For um, it's going to be on the, what mobile tablets and uh, the, just the tablets, right? You no, know, it's going to be uh, on App Store for both uh, uh, the uh, phones and the uh, uh, tablets, and then after that, we're uh, launching on Android as well. So. All right, cool. Uh, I was going to ask you because it looks so good. Um, is it going to be for console at any point? We'll see. <laughs> all right, all right, cool, cool. See. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we wanted to create a game that plays like a console game, that's not dumbed down, uh, and where you can just do the things you would normally do in a platform game on console. And uh, uh, this, this, is, uh, this is the result of that, basically. So you can either use uh, Swipe, to control yeah. the character, or you can have on screen buttons, and we also support the Steel Series controller. Awesome. Now, you was telling us a little bit about the voice acting like, uh, for this guy because uh, you can hear like the, uh, the European accent to him. So yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that since it's uh, loading up? Yeah, we wanted to have a character that had uh, a kind of interesting language uh, where he uses expressions in a slightly incorrect way, but making it kind of colorful the way he talks. So it's not necessarily a specific accent, but Eastern. Europe definitely yeah awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah we found a, a really talented guy and Rytel to do the voice uh, nice so yeah we're really happy with he's what, British right he is British <laughs> so this is Leo the main character who uh, has realized his uh, goal is stolen and here I'm just swiping left and right to control Leo uh, and uh, on the other side, with my other thumb, I can inflate him, which uh, is useful for kind of gliding through the air or kind of jumping through, uh, jumping off surfaces. I can also dive, and uh, if I dive in a slope, it will kind of pick up speed. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Got to find a better slope for that. So. I, like I said, uh, I said this off game. I'm saying on, but it's vis visually beautiful. Like it looks like the type of game you would find on a platform. I mean, the, the graphics is on point. Um, but as far as design, you know, what was the inspiration there? I mean, we've always loved platform games, and for this, we wanted to make something that was our own. We always try to make a game in a new genre whenever we launch a new title. And uh, this is a kind of our take on what, uh, what we like about platform games. And um, we wanted to do something that was both artistically, uh, gameplay-wise, and story-wise different. And uh, the story in Leo's Fortune is quite different. You start out and everything's kind of set up like you would expect from a normal platform game. Just something to tie the levels together. But as you go deeper into what's happened, you realize that there's actually a, a, a deeper message and a, something that is really close to our hearts that we wanted to tell. And we found that uh, this medium is perfect for that because no one would expect that in a platform game and yeah. that's why it's it could be s just so much more powerful now is it there, is there a story a set story to this i mean because it, he, he has dialogue and he, he interacts so is there yeah so as you uh, progress through the levels uh kind of he narrates the the story himself and uh, explains a little bit about who the potential suspects of this stolen fortune could be. And uh, you start to see sides of him that you may not uh, have kind of initially been hinted uh, about. And, uh, and the plot thickens, you know? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that sounds actually really interesting to find out, you know, the, the extent. Yeah. I mean, you know, like I said, he, he already has the mustache. <laughs> that kind of throws all into the personality. You know I mean, let me trust the guy with thick mustache. Yeah, <laughs> <That's right>. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, so, as far as gameplay aspects, I know, you know, another, you know, I would assume that 
trying to do a speed run would be good, but do you incorporate anything that involves like um, some form of multiplayer, like, like stat boards or something like that? Yeah, we do have a, a game center for uh, the App Store and uh, the equivalent for Android as well, mm -hmm. uh, where you can uh, uh, try and beat each other's times and uh, uh, challenge your friends' times. Uh, there's also a star system in the game, which you can see here. Well, I obviously I have all the stars already. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you can beat, uh, uh, get the first star for getting all the coins, and uh, second star for no fatalities, and third star for a really fast time. And uh, as you collect these stars, you'll unlock bonus levels on the map, which have uh, different game modes and kind of uh, different things going on in them. So when will this launch and how much is it going to retail for? It's going to launch at the end of April and uh, uh, the price right now we're talking about is four ninety nine. Okay. So it's going to be a premium game but there's no in-app purchases hey, you get. <laughs> so <laughs> Thank you. You Thank get you. you get what you pay for and you know exactly what you get. I see because yeah. I don't like in-app purchases. I feel like you know I, I purposely not buy them to piss the developer off and make me try to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> No, we feel the same, and uh, that's why we wanted to create that. I like where you're going with the game. I like the direction. Um, it, it has a classic feel, but it looks great. It looks, I mean, like I said, on the big screen, you can see how good it looks, but especially on the pad, I mean. Yeah, I mean, the displays on the pads are really good, and uh, uh, the, the art kind of pops. Even, even better on my PC screen where I create the art, so uh, yeah, uh, it's nice to look at on even on the iPhones uh, and uh, kind of the Samsung devices as well. So awesome! Well, I look forward to your game, man. Like, uh, yeah, you gotta check out Leo's Fortune. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's, it's interesting. You know, it's like you know, Cookie Monster early years on display. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we, you gotta check it out. Uh, come in April. Peace. GameWithFitNation.com.